Okay, in this video, we will solve the third problem. It will be extension of previous video. In the previous video, I solved the second problem in uh, uh, by the different uh, by taking the different pro problems we solved that. But this is the third problem. Uh, here also, uh, by using the parallel forces, here the parallel forces are there, and by using graphical method, uh, you need to find out the resultant of these parallel forces uh, and where it will be located. Okay. So first I'll read the problem here. A horizontal line PQRS is 12, me 12 meter long. A horizontal line is there PQRS is total 12, 12 meter long. 12 meter long. Where PQ equal to QR equal to RS equal to 4 meter. PQ 4 meter, QR 4 meter and RS 4 meter. Total it is 12 meter. Okay, 12 meter. The forces of 1000 Newton, 1500, 1000 Newton and 500 Newton act at P, Q, R and S respectively. It means 1000 it will act at P, 1500 it will act as Q, 1000, uh, 1000 again 1000 Newton it will act at uh, R and 500 it will act at a point of S here. Okay, up to here. Uh, respectively with downward direction with downward direction all these forces are in downward direction okay next point the lines of action of these forces make an angle of 90 degree first one is 90 degree second 60 degree third one 45 degree and fourth force it will be 30 degree respectively with ps where is ps this is ps with respect to, to horizontal or with respect to, to ps 1000 newton makes 90 degree 1500 newton makes 60 degree 1000, 1000 Newton makes 45 degree and 500 Newton makes 30 degree with PS, with the line PS. PS. Find the magnitude and direction and position of the resultant. You need to find out the magnitude of the resultant and its direction, whether it is downward or upward and its position, where it is located in this out of 12 meter here. Okay. So once again, just briefly, I'll explain. Uh, there is uh, the horizontal line is there PQRS. It is total 12, 12 meter in which P, Q, R, S points are 4 meter apart, 4, four meters apart, okay. The forces act the, at the point P, 1000 Newton, it is 90 degree, at the Q, 1500 Newton, 60 degree, at R, 1000 Newton, 45 degree, and at S, 1500 Newton, 30 degree, with the line P, S, with the line P, S. You need to find out the resultant, where it, resultant and its direction and its location, where it is there. Okay, uh, by now we are using the graphical method, graphical method to find out the resultant. Of course, these are not the parallel forces, but you can apply the parallel force, the graphical method, uh, method in this while solving the resultant here. Okay, now take the same, the whatever the defined the problem, draw in the uh, in the page as shown here. Okay, as shown here. Uh, this is called space diagram. This is called space diagram. Space diagram. Now, first step is you need to mark the all the given four forces by using the Bose notation. Use Bose notation. Use Bose notation. Okay. What Bose notation tells? You need to uh, not you give the notation for the forces. For the first force P, I'll mark just this one as A and this one as B. It means Force P is denoted by AB. Force Q is denoted by BC. Force R is denoted by CD. Force S is denoted by DE. Okay. This is how you need to uh, give the notation uh, for the given forces. This is the Bose notation. Next step. Come to the, this is the space diagram. Come to the vector diagram. You need to draw the vector diagram vector diagram okay now start with point a start with point a come to the first force come to the first force it is 1000 newton 1000 newton convert this 1000 newton into your scale according to the scale convenient scale here here for convenient scale that is scale I am taking 
500 newton for convenient 500 newton equal to 1 centimeter <coughs> 1 centimeter for the first force it is 1000 newton for 1000 newton how many centimeters it is 2 centimeter 2 centimeter you can take any scale according to your uh, flexibility now start with point a <coughs> draw a line of 2 centimeter 2 centimeter parallel to force p it is exactly vertical force p is exactly vertical so i start with the a i'm drawing 2 centimeter i'm drawing 2 centimeter parallel to 1000 newton that is a this is b point a b point okay so this is downward direction and this will gives 1000 newton 1000 newton okay that will be equal to 2 centimeter 2 centimeter now come to the second force q first convert the 1500 newton into scale 1500 newton is how many centimeters it is 3 centimeters 3 centimeters start with point b you need to draw 3 centimeter parallel to what parallel to second force parallel to second force 1500 newton it is it will makes at an angle of 60 degree 60 degree just start with b point and draw a line of 3 centimeter it is you need to draw a line of 3 centimeter b c b c and this force that is this will be how much this is 1500 newton 1500 newton that will be equal to 3 centimeter 3 centimeter okay it, it will makes at an angle of 60 degree same parallel to you are transferring uh, this uh, same uh, 1500 you are transferring here now next come to the next point the c start with c what is the next force 1000 newton 1000 newton is how many centimeters it is 2 centimeters 2 centimeter start with c you need to draw 2 centimeter that is 1000 newton parallel to what parallel to this 1000 newton third force r r force okay it, it makes at an angle of 45 degree so i'll start with c i'll draw 2 centimeter that is 1000 newton parallel to force 1000 newton force 1000 newton Okay, this will be 1000 newton, 1000 newton that will be equal to 2 centimeter, 2 centimeter. This is C and this is D point, this is D point. Now, well, what is the, ne uh, the next force? Yes, that is fi 500 newton here. Start with D point and 500 newton, 500 newton is convert again, 500 newton is how many centimeters? 1 centimeter. Start with D, you need to draw 1 centimeter parallel to this force, parallel to 500. That is, with respect to horizontal, it is 30 degree. Again, this is E point. This is E point and this will be 500 Newton. 500 Newton, that will be equal to 1 centimeter. 1 centimeter. Okay. So, any other force left? No. This is the end. Now, join A and E. That will be the resultant force. That will be the resultant force. Just I am joining A and E with dotted lines. Okay. This is A, E is dotted lines. That is mm, the resultant force. Now, what is the next step? Select any convenient point O anywhere on the space here anywhere you need to join oa ob oc od and oe okay you need to join of course these are all the downward forces only right these are all downward forces join oa ob oc od and oe now i'm joining oa ob oc 
OD and OE. OE. Okay. This is the vector diagram. This is vector diagram. Now come to the next point. Come to the uh, space diagram. Come to the space diagram. Okay. Now start with first force P. Just I am extending this force anyway. Take a point P. Take a point point P on the line of action of thousand newton. Anywhere, anywhere you can take. You can take here, 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 anywhere. Okay, P. Now start with P. Draw a line parallel to P L. P. This P L parallel to first O A. This is O A. Start here O A. It means you need to transfer O A here. Just I am transferring this one. O A is here. This is P, this is L, this is OA. OA is parallel to, that is OA is parallel to LP. LP. Okay? LP. Now, what is the next force here? Just extend again this one. You can extend. You can extend this force. Now, start with P. Draw a line PQ. PQ parallel to OB, OB, the next line is OB, that is, I am drawing the OB, PQ parallel to OB, PQ, this is OB, okay, this is Q, just small letter, that is PQ, OB parallel to PQ. PQ. Okay. Next, again extend this line. The third force. Start with Q point. Start with Q point, and draw a line QR. QR parallel to what? OC. Parallel to OC. Okay. QR parallel to OC. OC. This is OC. That is OC parallel to QR. QR. Okay. Next, what is the last force left? This is the 500 Newton. Again, this you need to extend here. You need to extend. Now, start with R. Start with R. Draw a line parallel to RS. Parallel to RS. Parallel to R S and sorry, start, start, start with R and draw a line parallel to O D. O D. Okay. Where is the O D? O D is here. R S. This is O D. Okay. That is O D parallel to R S. Now which line remaining left here? O E. O E. Now start with S. Start with yes, draw a line, draw a line parallel to OE. That is, I am dra drawing here, that is parallel to OE. OE. Anywhere here, yes, this is L and this is M here. Okay, you, that is, next one is OE parallel to SM. OE parallel to SM. Okay, now after Completing this, come to the first force. Where is first force? Uh, the first force here, the point is, and the first force is, point is P. P. Okay. Extend this point P. Extend this point P here. Extend this point P. And where is the last force? Last force is this force. And it will meet at S. Extend this also. Extend this also. Where it meets, it is K point. It is K point. Okay. Now, this is where resultant. Resultant force, it will be located here. Now, take the scale. You need to draw the uh, resultant. How much the magnitude is? Magnitude is equal to AE. How much AE is there? First, measure 
convert that into newton and or you can measure uh, convert that into newton and that it will be acting here it means you just measure and this is the this is the resultant force this is the resultant force and with the help of the protractor you can measure what is the angle it will makes at an angle of 62 degree it will makes at an angle of 62 degree 62 degree with ps with ps with ps here okay this is how the location k after situating k just draw a resultant force the magnitude is equal to a e a e okay and after drawing you will get automatically measured with the protractor you will get the angle is uh, the 62 it will be makes at an angle of 62 with respect to rs okay now the result the final result is result magnitude of r magnitude of r r is nothing but how much magnitude ae ae that will be equal to 3760 3760 kg kgf okay that is the force next direction this is the first point and this is the second point the direction direction is 62 degree with horizontal 62 degree with Horizontal means with PS, with PS, with PS and, and the distance between the distance between K point, K and the first force, the distance between K and force first force that is force p force p is if you measure the distance it is 4.25 4.25 meter 4.25 meter it means from this point from this k point to this first force this for, first force it is 4.25 meter did you get the point measure locate the r and draw the resultant of magnitude is equal to AE. And then take the protractor, measure the angle, it will make an angle of 62 degree. This is how you need to locate the resultant. You need to find out the magnitude of the resultant uh, if the uh, number of parallel forces are given here. Okay.